Holy, um, starting soon, of course. Well, holy crap, for the first week, I have actually started on time. So that, that's off to a good start. O off to a very good start there. It, things can only be looking up. That's the honest truth. They can only be looking up from here. I say, well, yeah, they can only really be looking up and I've already minimised the game because I'm dumb. Because I want to load up the preview stream and mute that. Just so I can see what's going on. So at the moment you're still looking at a frozen screen because apparently it's behind for whatever reason. But it'll catch up. I'm not sure will. So I was at the Ed Dragoon. And before I can actually move on, I knew I was I knew I was missing something. Before I can move on to this area, to this, to this cool area here. I need to get all the Chaos Emeralds, and I don't have them all, I'm missing one. It's above the bloody um, chemical plant, it's Metal Sonic. I knew Metal Sonic was in this game, but um, I didn't know where. So he's being a cool guy and sitting above here. Uh, there he is, I see the fucker. Come here you butt munch. Give me yo emerald, bitch. Face me if you wish to have the chaos emerald. Okay. I will fuck your day up. I fucked your day up in Sonic 2, I'll fuck it up now. Now there was a fun fact that I actually learned about this level from um Oh dear god. No, 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 stay away from me. Bitch. Yeah, well I wish I could There we go. Yeah, there was actually a fun fact that I learned about um the chemical plant zone on the original Sonic 2. And I can't remember the exact fun fact it was, but ow. Ow, that hurt. But um, it was something along the lines, it was, it was to do with Death Egg Zone as well, and it was something along the lines of either the background or the music for the Death Egg Zone was originally intended to be used in the Chemical Plant Zone, but they changed it. Wait, oh shit! Oh, this is not going well. Oh, thank god for that, rings. Come here, you fucker. Is that him done already? Did I just do him in lesson? No, I didn't. I knew that was too good to be true. Oh! He said get on the platform to avoid him. I got on the platform to avoid him, and he still goddamn attacked me. What a dick. Fun fact, I actually like Metal Sonic. He's one of my favourite characters. Sweet, I got an S. Now I hope that the stream quality is okay. That's gonna be that's gonna be my question. Let me switch it to 1080p and find out. It should be decent. And there we go, there's the final Chaos Emerald that I didn't have. Then let's go down. Uh, God, well, I don't know why the scream, uh, the scream. I don't know why the scream's lagging so far behind. No, I don't know why the stream is like. I, th I think it, I think I timed it to be about forty-five seconds behind. No idea why. I can only assume that is because I keep minimising this to go like this, um, which I've done a number of times now. Um, no, I, I can only assume it's. Actually, I can't assume it's anything because I don't even know myself. 
Um, I, I don't know why the stream is 45 seconds behind, but it is. That music, Death Egg Robot. Sorry. Carried away. Big time. I don't want to be this Sonic. I don't like this Sonic. I like new Sonic. Not that I don't like old Sonic, I just like new Sonic more. And the music stops. Oh, well. Don't mind if I do. I'm going this way. Are you kidding me? How slow do you want to go? Screw this. I, I am not waiting. Take me up. Sorry, carried away. I don't even like that song. Why am I singing it? Please, if, if someone could inform me as to why I'm singing that song, because I don't even like it, I would love to be enlightened. <laughs> my fish has knocked my thermometer off the side of the tank. What a dick. Scumbag fish. Hey, dick brain, I'll tap the glass. Oh, come on, no, now it's floating across the tank. No, don't do that. Oh god, now, now I look stupid. I don't know what he was doing then. I've lost my thermometer in my... Oh, there it is. I got it. So it's okay, don't worry. Crisis averted. I got my thermometer. Crisis... Oh, I can zoom in now. I completely forgot I can do that. He knocks it off again. Come on, please, please, faster than this. Por favor, please, 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 please go faster, go faster. <laughs> yeah, that, that's something I could talk about. I was at the um, National Railway Museum on Saturday. Yeah, Saturday. God, that time's gone quick. It's been a week already since I was there. Well, damn. I don't want to stay on here. Funny how that spins so much faster than the actual gears are spinning. That makes me laugh. It makes me giggle. Going down. Whoop. There we go. But yeah, I was at the rational. Uh, I was at the National Railway Museum. I'm, I'm starting to speak like Scooby Doo. I was at the National Railway Museum for the uh, Great Gathering of the weekend. On it was the thirteenth. Um, that was a fun weekend. The hour-long queue to get in wasn't so much, and now there's a cutscene, so I'm gonna eat a packet of crisps. Robotnik, you dick. I stumbled upon the primordial form of this unique creation, which I discovered had amazing abilities even I have never been able to master. It could erase time and space. I then had the brilliant idea to use my discovery to undo my previous defeats. In order to perfect it, I needed the help of somebody as smart as I am. The only person that smart is me. Oh, you are too kind, my dear future self. And I was happy to help. I captured your brain, flinging them through time to bait my traps. But the more your monster tears through time, the more damage you do to the world. The world? I'm going to own the world when I'm finished with Sonic. <laughs> Oh, will I really get that crazy? <laughs> we'll see who's crazy after I destroy both Sonics. 
forever. You mean after we destroy them? Less arguing, more destroying. Destroy me? You and what mustache? I beat you all the time by myself, and now there's two of me. Then I'll have twice as much fun defeating you. Bring it on, mother bitch. But someone that's meant to be like an evil super genius, Robotnik is fucking stupid. <laughs> oh, he's got pwned. Can't do that, you need 50 rings to do that. I played enough Sonic to know that fact. Time to scramble some Eggman, Super Sonic style. You need 50 rings for that, goddammit, you have none. I didn't see you pick any up. Oh, Jesus. You need 50 whole rings, not none. This boss fight on the 3DS was stupid. It was so bad. Oh well, I just screwed myself there. Nope! Oh god, I keep missing the rings. This isn't going well. But, um, yeah. What, what was I talking about? I was talking about the National Railway Museum Depot. But yeah, I, I was there last weekend and it was a great weekend. It was annoyingly hot though. Especially as when I got there. I got there at 10 past 10. The museum had only been open for about 10 minutes. But the queue was already looping back on itself and going up an alleyway at the side of the... Um, uh, going up the side of an alleyway that was there and I was in that queue for about an hour maybe slightly more and dear god was it hot it was just out in the sun constantly and it was shit it, it was so bad it was just stood in the burning sun oh but by the by time I got to um, oh shit I'm running out of rings Run out of rings! This is not going well! Fuck! Fuck! Let me let me attack him quickly. Son of a bitch! Come on, come on! Let me in there! Let me in there! Ow! This, this is oh I'm going I'm doing so bad. Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on. It's gonna drop rings. Ah, oh, lovely rings. This is not enough rings. Ah, oh, yes. Oh, thank thank the Lord for that. But yeah, standing in that queue was not fun. It was burning sun all the way. And it was just, ah, oh, couldn't stand it. it. It was so horrible. By the time I got to the entrance, there was um, an old guy that had been on the train with me. And he was in front of me in the queue, and he he had passed out on the floor. So that's just uh, slow motion. Oh god! Oh shit! Watch out for 
But yeah, he, it was so hot, um, an old guy, he had um, passed out in front of me. And um, there were a couple of people there from the railway museum around him. He was laid out on the floor. And it was, oh, it, it was so hot. There was like one room in the whole museum that's air conditioned. And it was like this small, it, it was a small little art gallery room. And it, it was really small. I would have loved to have spent more time in there because it was so lovely and cool. It, it was so nice because I, it, it was a great day. I'm not. I'm not saying it wasn't. It wasn't great there, but um, it was so hot. That, that's what. That's that's what made it suck for me. Um. Yeah. It it was a great day. It was amazing seeing the last six A4 classes together. Um, for those who don't know what the A4 class is, it's. Um, a group of trains that has, and one of them is the fastest steam train in the world. It holds the official world record for being the fastest. There were 35 of them, and now there's only six. And so they brought two in from. Uh, I did. Nothing happened. Um. Ow. Ow, 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 this is a laser. But yeah, it, like, like I was saying, it's one of them is fastest steam train in the world. There was 35 of them, there's now only 6. And they brought them together. I think uh, there was one that came from... I have to hold left and right bumper. But there, there was one of them, there's one came from Canada, one came from America, and then the other... Four, I believe we're already in the UK. I believe I could be wrong on that. I'm I'm pretty sure of it. I'm, I think it was uh, Dominion of Canada came from Canada, and I think I think it was the Union of South Africa that came from America, and the other one. Oh, cutscene. God, the cutscene is so low res. Look, there's Silver being a nice guy when we just kicked his ass. And Knuckles just got bitch slapped. You don't want to know where he puts them. It's inappropriate. Fail home in attack. Sweet. And you're only gonna get better. There's our rock. Hey Sonic! Enjoy your future! It's gonna be great! And here's the credits. I'm going to talk through these, but yeah, Brown Museum. Like I say, it was great seeing them there. Um, what else can I say about it? They're, they're, I know it's meant to be showing the um, history of like British steam predominantly, but it, it would have been nice to have like a few more diesels or maybe a few more electrics there, because off the top of my head, they had. Um, a class 87 electric in like the main sort of entrance hall bit and then they had a class 72 or 73 over with the A4 classes and I think they were the only two electrics there. They had a Japanese Shinkansen um, but yeah, that, uh, that's electric I suppose but 
yeah, yeah, I think you get what I mean. It would have been nice to have some more modern locos there as well. Um, but the, I think Diesel Liars, they had a Class 40 sitting outside. And then they had a few other uh, little diesels sitting about, but that was about it. Like, I, like, I know it's meant to be hit history of British Railways, but not British Rail the company, but British Railways in general. But... I, th I think diesels are quite a big part of the British history, and so are um, electrics now. There, there are some he like old, ele really old electric trains. Um, but I guess a lot of diesels are in service or have been scrapped, so they're sort of harder to come by, I guess. But like I say, nevertheless, it was totally worthwhile going. I, I do not regret it. It, it was brilliant. I actually got to go on an HST for the first time. In I, I used to watch the HSTs um, go past me at uh, Leegrave, because I used to live in Luton. And so I used to get on a train to go and see my dad. And uh, when we were sitting on the platforms, um, you see the HSTs just burst past me. It was brilliant. And I have wanted to go on an HST for years and I legitimately thought I wasn't going to get the opportunity to because I thought they were going to be all disappearing but they've been in service since the 70s and they're still going strong and I got to go on one so I was super happy however one funny thing that happened was um, that cutscene there is actually from Sonic Adventure 2 because it's on a piece of, um, a piece of the helicopter but um, yeah sidetracked completely um, <laughs> But, yeah, I always wanted to go on, and I can't remember where I was going. Um, oh, yeah, I got King's Cross Station. Sitting in, train was, my train was sitting in there at the end, other end of the station on its own, and I saw, saw either, I think it was either a Class 47 or a 57, I can't remember. I saw that, I thought, oh, yeah, it's a special, uh, a special train in here. It's just diesel pool, nothing to worry about. No, nothing too special, in my opinion. Like, Steam is a really special thing for me. I love Steam. Steam is just, for me it's the best of the best, you can't beat Steam. But um saw a diesel there, I thought, ah, it's just diesel poop special. And then as my train was pulling out, go past the front of the train, Oliver Cromwell's sitting there. It's a big old steam train. I think it was, um, it's, it's a British Standard 7F, I think it is. It, or British Rail Standard, I think it's a 7F. But it was sitting at the end there, that, that annoyed me. <laughs> but... Eh, I'll, I'll go over it quickly. And then sitting on the HST, one of the fun challenges I found was um, on the HSTs for Grand Central, because I went Grand Central, they give you uh, porcelain cups. And they're like the shape of a food bowl. They're not as big, obviously, but they're like the shape of a food bowl. And they've got a little dinky handle on them that you can only fit a single finger through. And I was surprised at how bouncy the ride was every night um, on the on the HST and so the challenge was to drink your cup of tea without spilling it on yourself because I went first class up there to and from there because I, I wanted to go first class I had a 16 to 25 rail card so I got the tickets for like 80 pound um, but yeah cup of tea brought to me you said try not to spill the bloody thing as you drink it that's a challenge the, the guy that was sat beside me, he didn't manage it, he, ma he spilled it on himself. <laughs> but, yeah, there, there was that, and then got up there, it was a brilliant day out. Um, I might be going back up there again in November to see him again, it's a possibility. It's not guaranteed, but it's a possibility I might go up there again to see him. Um, then, on the way home, it, it, it wasn't an HST on the way home, it was a Class 180. Um... That was that. That was annoying because I got in the coach. As I sat down, I just felt the engine in our coach conk out, and so I wanted to plug my phone in, put it on charge because my phone eats battery like there is no tomorrow. I had my phone on charge all the way up to York, um, but on the way home, I couldn't charge the bloody thing because it none of the plug sockets in our coach were working and so that was really annoying because the whole way home I had about I started off at York with about 30% battery and I was talking to my mum on the way home and I said to her, I, I legitimately thought my battery ain't gonna last until I went until things cross 
And so around the Peterborough area, I had 2% battery. And to my amazement, my phone got to King's Cross on, with 1% battery left. So I thought, maybe if I'm lucky, I might have enough time to walk across to Euston and still have my phone working so I can let my mum know where I was. Because when I go out somewhere, she sort of worries about where I am. So I sort of keep in contact with her. And I, I was hoping that I'd have enough battery there. So when I got on my train, because I'd just missed a quarter past train, so I had to wait until half past for the next one. Got on the train, sat down, battery had died. And I was just thinking, you scumbag phone. Why couldn't you last just that little bit longer? That was what, actually, that was one thing about both the train trips that annoyed me. It wasn't the fact that on the train trip on the way home, the plug socket wasn't working. It was the fact that on both trains, they had free Wi-Fi but it wasn't bloody working. But on the HST, I could see it, I could see the free Wi-Fi. They said Grand Central Wi-Fi connect to it. No, it won't connect. So okay, maybe it's just this one train, maybe it maybe it's just uh, bad luck. Get on the get on the train home. Phone connects to it, but it is the connection is super flaky. And it just doesn't work. And I think this is the end of these credits. Come on, don't make me look stupid. That that was ending music. Yeah, that, that was ending music. I was right. But yeah, all, all in all, apart from those few little bits and the supreme heat, because I think I sweat about a stone in weight, apart from that, it was good. Oh, ending cutscene. Forgot about that. It, it was an amazing day out, apart from that. what you get for being a dickhead man. What time is it? It's the exact same time as when you asked earlier, and it'll be the exact same time when you ask later. There is no time here! Let me just say that this was a brilliant plan that you came up with. Don't get too self-righteous. It'll be your plan pretty soon. I'm gonna dedicate the rest of my life to forgetting it. I heard that. Do we ever win? That nope. depends on your definition of win. Beating Sonic. Oh, well then no. That doesn't give me much hope. Maybe I'll go back and get my teaching degree. That's not a bad idea. I've always enjoyed telling people what to do. Maybe you should do that, Eggman. Just give up. I got the custom skills, Super Sonic. What did that do for me? What do I achieve from having a custom skill supersonic? What does that does it mean I can go supersonic permanently? Time break. Okay. Seems legit. No, I'm going this way. Excuse me. I don't think I've got the skill of um supersonic before. I don't think I have. Unless it's something that you have by default. Which would seem odd to me. It, it must be, yeah. 80 skill points to equip. Yeah, because I'm going to do that. How many points do I have? Endless boost. That's a fun one to have. How do I go about? I know that there is a little um, a bonus thing up here, and you can get um, you can play. I think it's the original Sonic game on here. I'm sure of it. Where is it? Unless I've missed it. I don't know where it is. Uh, I, don't, I don't know where it is, but there, there was. There was, anyway, I don't know. Maybe it got removed. I don't know where it is, but. That is the end of Sonic Generations. So I am going to. I'm going to switch game. Because there's not much point in me carrying on, carrying on now because I've finished it. So I will be 
right back.